we had what was effectively the fourth debate. Uh, there's a winners and losers pick. I, I mean, it was uh, in my mind, it was pretty much a snoozer. Uh, we'll be curious to see what people think. Everyone's saying Elizabeth uh, Warren was the front runner, clearly, and uh, is the winner in this. I think that's probably, I guess that's probably true. She certainly sustained the most attack. Uh, Bernie Sanders actually looked, I thought he looked pretty good for a guy that had just been in a heart surgery and had a heart attack. Uh, he was he was he looked strong. Um, I will tell you what I see developing, and then we'll get everybody's comments on this. I, I see this as a a two-person race, but I think two of the people that, or a three-person race maybe, but it's fading pretty quickly. I think Joe Biden looked done to me. Oh, uh, he, he, had a, he had a rough night, and I, I, and I think Sanders is – I don't see how he recovers That's from what this. I was going to compare. It's Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, both of the two older candidates. Bernie Sanders just has a heart attack, uh, you know, two stints put in, um, had to take time off the campaign trail. He was way – he was totally coherent. In fact, maybe more coherent than he's ever been in a debate, uh, maybe just less of the aggressiveness and more clear, and uh, he realized what he had to do, like a real politician – he had to reestablish himself as a legitimate candidate for president who just had a heart attack. Uh, when these comments came out from like Jimmy Carter saying there's no way he could have been president at 80 years old and dealt with the stress of the job. But then Joe Biden gets up there and he gets into that tit for tat with Warren and, and Sanders, which is not always a great idea, and he gets totally lost in it. I mean, he's totally lost in what's he talking about with the, with, with, uh, the attacks, which are pretty easy attacks on their Medicare for all plans. And yet he gets totally lost. So I think it was a horrendous night for Joe Biden. The Democrats, both the party and the Democrat voters, have a real key question to answer in the 2020 uh, election. And that is, do they want to return, as they see it, to normalcy and civility? Or they do they want disruption and attacking the status quo? Biden and Mayor Pete and Tulsi Gabbard represent that return to civility and normalcy and all that kind of stuff. Warren, on the other hand... She says a return to normalcy is not good enough, that there should be no compromise. She calls for big disruptive changes. Yeah. She not only criticizes the, the politics of the Trump era, she criticizes the, the compromise and the, the politics of the previous administrations, which I think is really interesting. She thinks that political compromise and civility is how we got here. When you've got an Elizabeth Warren out there who basically has your message Without your crazy social radicalism, and you're not, she doesn't call but, herself. I mean, if you're the Democratic National Committee, you got to say to yourself, it did not work for Hillary Clinton, Harry. How's it going to work for Elizabeth Warren? Well, it may not work, but I also think that the um, Democrats have decided to bet on this particular horse, uh, and it's perhaps too late for them to change. Uh, I think that the left wing base of the Democrats is even more radical in 2020 uh, than they were in 2016. Um, and I think uh, the Democrats are going to have to put up with uh, a left-wing uh, nominee, and then yeah. that left-wing nominee is going to have to explain her positions to the American people. 